Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we discuss the gold standard and its profound influence on the United States economic landscape. In this video we will delve into the origins of the gold standard, its implementation, its advantages and limitations, its roles in pivotal events like the Great Depression, its evolution into the Bretton Woods system, and its eventual demise. But first, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy this kind of content, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. The gold standard at its core is a monetary system where a nation's currency is directly linked to a specific quantity of gold. This means that each unit of currency in circulation is backed by an equivalent amount of gold held and reserved by the government. This connection between money and a tangible asset offers stability to the currency's value and has a profound impact on the economic decisions and policies. The concept of the gold standard gained prominence during the 19th century as governments sought to establish a stable monetary foundation. In 1900, the United States officially embraced the gold standard pegging the U.S. dollar to a fixed quantity of gold. This move aimed to create a reliable and trustworthy currency system that would encourage trade, investment, and economic growth. One of the primary advantages of the gold standard was its ability to instill confidence in the economy. Individuals and businesses knew that their money had intrinsic value due to its backing by gold. This curbed the risk of inflation and currency devaluation, cre creating an environment conducive to long-term saving, investing, and economic stability. Despite its merits, the gold standard faced challenges. Its rigidity limited the government's flexibility in responding to economic fluctuations. The supply of money was tied to the availability of gold, preventing central banks from easily adjusting interest rates or implementing other measures to counter economic recessions. The gold standard's resilience was put to the test during the Great Depression in the 1930s. The fixed exchange rates and lack of monetary flexibility exacerbated the economic downturn. Countries struggled to maintain the value of their currencies, leading to a crisis of confidence in the gold-backed system. As a result, some countries began abandoning the gold standard in favor of more flexible monetary policies. The aftermath of World War II saw the need for a new international monetary system. The Bretton Woods Agreement of 1944 established a framework where major currencies were pegged to the U.S. dollar, and the U.S. dollar was, in turn, convertible to gold. This system sought to strike a balance between the stability of the gold standard and the flexibility needed in a rapidly changing global economy. However, challenges persisted. In 1971, President Richard Nixon made the historic decision to suspend the dollar's convertibility into gold, effectively ending the gold standard. This decision was driven by economic concerns, including the pressure on U.S. gold reserves and the need for greater flexibility in monetary policy. Despite its discontinuation, the gold standard's legacy is far-reaching. Its emphasis on stable currency and the relationship between money and tangible value has left an indelible mark on economic theory and policy. Debates about returning to a gold-backed system occasionally resurface, reflecting concerns about the stability of fiat currencies and the impact of central bank decisions. To sum it up, the gold standard's impact on the U.S. economy has been profound. From its inception during the 19th century to its eventual replacement by the modern fiat currency system, its influence can still be felt today. The gold standard's historical journey teaches us about the delicate balance between stability and flexibility in monetary systems. I hope this video has provided you with a comprehensive understanding of the gold standard significance. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more insightful explorations of economic history and theory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.